Hello and welcome to my workshop. My name is Paul. I'm a luthier and bow maker based in Tasmania, Australia. In this series, I will share some of the projects I work on each week, giving you a glimpse over my shoulder as I work as though you were looking through the window into my workshop. Welcome to episode two on the restoration of this uh, old German Magini copy. Next step is to take the neck out and the top off. Um, so we'll get straight into that. And um, I'll go through the way I was taught to, to remove the neck and uh, the reasons why I was taught to do it this way, um, different approaches to it and uh, some of the, the troubles you might come across. Okay, so taking the neck out, first things first, we need to run a knife down between the neck and the top to free the, the top plate where the neck and the top plate join. And then I'll run the blade or attempt to run the knife also down between the heel of the, the neck and the button on the back to free that. Um, I'm not going to run it down between the ribs. Um, traditional, when, the, when the traditional glues are used, the, uh, the um, hide glue it's quite a uh, quite a brittle glue so uh, it, it'll hold for a long period of time but then uh, when you when it's subjected to a shock uh, it will the, the glue will just break along the joint of the glue generally it'll break the, the glue joint will break before taking any fibers of timber with it unlike your modern PVA glues, which actually soak right into the fibres of the timber, and then the, the glue itself is likely to, uh, to actually take portions of, of, of wood and, and fibres of timber with it when you try and break it apart. Uh, and that's one of the, the, the good things about the hide glue is it, it leaves the, the timber intact. So once we run the, the knife down through the joints, um, we'll put the, the instrument on its, on its side on a firm surface, a fair bit of pressure, and then a fair, a fair old crack on each side of the of the neck. And all we're looking to do is a bit like a chiropractic crack. We're just looking to break that glue joint. We don't want to split the neck right out. Um, so there is a little bit of, you've got to be a little bit careful about it. Um, and that's the way I was taught to, to take the neck out. That's the way I was taught that it was, was sort of the best method. The other thing because this neck has been out once before i'm not sure what glue was used to put it back together so it may be that uh, i will need to take the fingerboard off and then work the knife down the back of the, the, the back joint um i prefer not to do that and the reason i was taught not to do that is that by taking the fingerboard off you're actually weakening this part of the neck so uh, then any pressure you're putting on that um the that you don't want to break obviously break the neck through here the ebony fingerboard does give the, the neck a lot of structural stability so we don't we don't really want to take that off unless we absolutely have to and this is just a standard uh old sort of bone handled butter knife and i've actually thinned it down even even more to uh, to get the edge really really fine and thin there's another couple here but i haven't haven't thinned those down as much so the blade's a little thick both sides it's kind of blocking the view but my head my head likes to get in the way Is 
finish going in there a little. as well I was just looking to see where they're at and stuff and just slowly work right into that joint if this is hide glue that's been used or on ones where it is hide glue the water will help soften the Pull up. This repair would have been done possibly up to 70 years ago, at which time even uh, in most builders and furniture makers would have been using hide glue at that time. So it is possible that whoever did the repairs on this, even though it was, was sort of done in the Australian bush type thing, it was a bit of a bush bush repair, it is possible that it was uh, hide glue that was used. reason we free it from here we don't want to break the button off when we take the neck out and not the break the neck joint we don't want to break the button off also we don't want to break the button off by working the knife in as well so Give it a really thin knife if you can do it. See there we pretty much in all the way there. So from that you can hear the crack. So I've just grabbed a, a cork block to put under the neck and that'll help prevent it from going too far when I put a bit of pressure on it. I don't want the neck to go all the way down to the bench and snap. You know, that'll actually give me something to, it's only going to go so far. Quite a bit of movement. Get those two smaller cracks. That's it. Yep. You should be able to see there, there's now with those two larger cracks we got, there's a little bit of movement in that. So I'll now work a little bit of water down into that and soften the glue up. And we should be able to then uh, slide the neck out. So the neck is dovetailed in. So the back corners here, are, the neck is dovetailed in. So the two back corners of the, the joint are wider than the front. So it will need to slide the bottom up. Yep. Just work a little bit of glue, a little bit of water. You can even see down the side here. Not sure where we're getting that. Still a little bit more. Stop. You can see down the side. 
the white line we're getting, the line, the varnish line you're getting down there, and the movement we're getting out of that side. Squidge a bit of water into that. And the same on this side. See the varnish line? So that join is now open. Cork block underneath to, for support on the, on the button. Just want a lot of this section of it out actually just too much fuck around you can see that's really starting to move now yeah you want to hold it so that when it comes out you don't it's a bit like when you're using the knife and you don't want the knife to go too far because again I'm, I'm sort of bracing everything so the body's held tight but the the neck when it comes free isn't going to go <laughs> flying so close ever so close There it is. Your snack. Whatever that glue was. Yeah, it's a it's a water based it's a water based glue. There's a little bit of the top coat there that'll have to go back in. Some sort of water based glue that's not um not PVA but it's a pretty um, Rough hide glue or some of some sort, some sort of water based glue. And the, and the ribs in the front block are in good order. So that's the neck coming out.